Hi there. Now, as soon as you launch MPC Beats, it will walk you through a very simple process. First, MPC Beats will ask you to connect your MIDI device. Now, if you own an Akai, M Audio, or Alesis keyboard or pad controller, this will be auto detected by MPC Beats. Now, I'm using the Akai MPK Mini controller keyboard. First, let's connect our MPK Mini and this will be auto-detected by MPC Beats. You can also load maps for other keyboard and pad controllers directly from our factory list. Once selected, press Next, then MPC Beats will ask you to select Simple or Advanced Mode. If you're new to music production, use Simple. If you've got some music background knowledge, you can use Advance. And now we're ready to make some beats. MPC Beats will now display a whole list of projects and demo songs to get you up and running. Let's start by selecting the Trap Demo Song. This will preload a collection of kits and instruments so you can start making beats. To also get you started, there's an open help button that takes you directly to the Quick Start Guide. You can open this up or you can close down the help button. Now that we've loaded up our project, let's press play and hear some beats. Now that we've set up MPC Beats, on our next video, I'm gonna walk you through MPC Beats' user interface. See you next time.